in this particular program, I'm going to show you a couple of things which you'll be using very frequently when you're working on strings. If I told you la correctly last time, if you remember well, I'd said scanf will stop reading the minute it encounters a space or an enter key. But sometimes if I have to read this entire line, I cannot use a single scanf because scanf will only end up reading using and after it encounters the first space, it will stop reading any other character. So in order to overcome that particular problem, I'm going to show you how you can use a function called as fgets. So in fgets, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to read a message using fgets. So I'm going to say enter a M-E-S-S, enter a message, all right? Once I enter a message, okay, I'm not using scanf, I'm using something called as fgets. fgets, the first parameter is something called as a data buffer. In my case, the data is going to be held in an array. So that is the name of the array. Then how many characters I want to allow the user to enter from the keyboard? I want to him or her to enter max minus one because I want to leave one space for the null character in a string. So max minus one. And the last parameter tells me from where I'm going to read. Something called a standard in means that I'm going to read from my standard input device. In my case, what is the standard input device? The standard input device happens to be the keyboard. So it's telling us that he, the user is going to enter from the data from the standard input device. Now, one thing you need to understand when you use fgets is suppose I enter a message like this, okay? R E M E M B E R, remember by, all right? What this fgets does is it automatically at the end of when I press the enter key, it is going to add the new line character to this remember by. Now, because of this new line character, if I try to find the length of this particular string, it will calculate as one, two, three, four, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 13. It will include the new line character also as the length of the string. First let's calculate the length of the string including the new line character. Then I'll show you how you can get rid of the new line character. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say while. Alright, I'm going to say while I. Sorry, while message of I. Alright is not equal to not equal to the null character okay so let me make this a little clearer let me make this not equal to a null character so as long as it's not equal to null character i am trying to increase the value of i by one now the problem with this particular approach is i'll show you what is going to happen all right First, let me do this and explain and then we'll show you the correct approach to find the correct length ignoring the backslash n. Length of msg is equal to percentage d and I can print the value of i. Alright, so what we'll do is let us try to run this particular piece of code. Let us try to see the output and then we shall go ahead with trying to get rid of the backslash n and do the correct way. So here what I am going to do here is I am going to run this particular piece of code here if you see the length of msg it is going to show one more than this remember by space is also included in the length okay so don't assume that space is not included so let me just run this particular piece of code okay there is some error i have forgotten to put this into comments so let's run it and let's see if there's any error okay uh, enter a message so what i'll do is welcome space geu so welcome is seven characters space is eight and this should be 311 but when i hit enter it will show length as 12 so it shows length as 12 because it is also counting the new line character which f get as adds the minute you press the enter enter key after entering this welcome geu message now i will show you a way how you can get rid of that particular backslash n so what we can do here is i can start like this i can say while okay msg of i plus plus as long as it is not equal to backslash n okay i'm going to keep incrementing then 
what I will do is I will come out I will reduce the value of i by 1 and I'll tell you why I'm reducing i by 1 and then at that particular position I'm going to insert a null I'm going to say msg of i is assigned the value null I'll do explanation of all this in a second so please bear with me so that you intend to get it correctly now I'm going to make i back to 0 otherwise you won't get the correct output this is one of the most frequent mistakes which students tend to make ignoring to make variables back to their original value when you use them somewhere so let's try to run this and let's see if we're getting the correct length so what we're going to do is i'm going to enter welcome geu all right so now if you see it's given me the correct length of 11 because what happened is since i'm counting from zero the 11th position ends with the backslash n okay and the 11th position is inserted the null so let me just explain through a simple example without getting too big so let me say geu and let me say gehu this is my input all right so to make it more clear i will put both of them in double quotes all right so what's going to happen here is once i use the f get s this is how it is going to look in message so initially i is 0 then i becomes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and at the 8th character okay because i'm counting from 0 8th character is backslash n so this character is backslash n so what i do is when i'm counting initially this 0 becomes after g it becomes 1 after e it becomes 2 after u it becomes 3 after space it becomes 4 after g it becomes 5 after e it becomes 6 after h it becomes 7 after u it becomes 8 after n it becomes 9 but since i'm counting from 0 i need to bring i back by one value that's why i'm reducing by one value and in the eighth position i am putting the null character so now it will just be this will go off and here you will have the null character once you have the null character i am bringing i back to 0 so i plus plus is a post increment so it's i is zero it's starting here when it is e it becomes one it becomes two three four five six seven okay and the minute it reaches here it's going to fail but if you look here there is a space also so total number of characters is zero one two three four five six seven so the length of geu space gh gehu should yield me seven if my explanation is correct let me run that and let me prove if that is the case geu gehu so now if you see the length is eight because i hope i didn't say seven because it is one two three this is the fourth space 5 6 7 and 8 so space is also counted as one character excuse me if i have said the length is 7 because probably i ended up counting from 0 but when you say the length you are going to count from 1 to 8